Okay, this section is area and arc length and polar coordinates. We have not yet talked about arc length, so it's probably time to do that. Here is the arc length integral for polar coordinates. So if you have r is a function of theta, as usual, and you're letting r run from alpha to beta, this is the integral that you should come up with. Um, let's see where this comes from, and then we will do an example uh, using it. So if we have r is f of theta, well, x is r times cosine theta, and y is r times sine of theta. So we can replace r with f of theta in here. And this gives us x is equal to f of theta times cosine theta. And y is equal to f of theta times sine theta. And the thing to realize is that at this point, this is a parametrization. So here we have x and y are written parametrically uh, with theta is the parameter. Okay, so uh, let's take some derivatives. x prime of theta is, and we take the derivative here, we'll use the product rule. So it's f of theta times the derivative of cosine theta is minus sine theta. And then plus f prime of theta times cosine theta. y prime of theta is f of theta times the derivative of sine theta plus f prime of theta times sine theta. And so if you go back to section 11.2, the integral that we are looking at is the integral of square root of x prime of theta squared plus y prime of theta squared. So let's do these, let's crunch this out here. So if we square x prime of theta and we square y prime of theta and add them together, what do we end up with? So this is going to be f of theta Oh, sorry, I guess I'm f theta minus sine theta. Oops, uh, I would need a plus f prime of theta cosine theta, all of that squared, plus f of theta cosine theta, plus f prime of theta sine theta, all of that squared. Um, Let's expand this out, so we end up with f of theta squared sine squared theta plus f prime of theta uh, squared cosine squared theta. This term squared plus this term squared, and then the cross terms, we have minus 2 f of theta f prime of theta times sine theta, cosine theta. And then when we do the same thing for this term, square it, plus f of theta squared, cosine squared theta, plus f prime of theta squared, sine squared theta, plus two times f of theta, f prime of theta, times sine theta, cosine theta. Okay, so this looks like a big mess. But we can simplify things. Those two cancel out. Between these two terms, if they're both f prime of theta squared times cosine squared theta and sine squared theta. So it's f prime of theta squared times cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. And cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is just 1. So that just ends up as f prime of theta squared. And then these terms over here, 
This is f of theta squared in both of them. One of them is times sine squared theta, one of them is times cosine squared theta. In the same way, this is f of theta squared. So we see that so we see that x prime of theta squared plus y prime of theta squared is f of theta squared plus f prime of theta squared. For 11.2, we're integrating the square root of that with appropriate bounds. So this gives us our arc length integral as desired. Okay, so let's do an example using this. Let's do an example using this. So find the total length of the Limousin. Uh, R is equal to 1 plus 4 cosine theta. Uh, let me draw a picture of this. So there's an inside loop and there's an outside loop. So this is my best drawing here. I will show off the textbook picture here. That's the better drawing, but this is what's going on. Try and get my, there we go. Try and get my camera to focus. Um, okay, so what is going on here? Our f of theta is 1 plus 4 cosine theta. f prime of theta is going to be minus 4, oops, minus 4 sine of theta. And so we have to now do f of theta squared plus f prime of theta squared. And so that's going to be 1 plus 4 cosine theta squared plus minus 4 sine theta squared. And when you crunch this out, when you expand everything, you end up with 17 plus 8 cosine theta. Uh, for To draw this entire picture, this is having theta is going to run from 0 to 2 pi. So to use our arc length integral here, we are integrating from 0 to 2 pi of the square root of this. So our final answer is the integral from 0 to 2 pi of the square root of 17 plus 8 cosine theta. This is a difficult uh, integral to do. If you want to do it with a computer, you get about, oops, about 25.53. Okay, and that is a wrap on section 11.4, and that's a wrap on new material for the entire course, so thumbs up, good job.